On this tutorial, I'm going to show how to find the median, lower quartile, upper quartile, and the interquartile range of a data. Here we have a set of numbers. There are 23 numbers that represent the ages of 23 people on coach A. And I want to find the median, the lower quartile, and the upper quartile, so I can complete the table. So these numbers are in order, in ascending order. So the lowest is the first and the highest is the last. So we have the least age is 41, the greatest age is 49. Let's see what is the median. The median is the middle value, is the position that lies a half of the data. So it's the middle number. And because the total numbers are odd, 23 is an odd number, there is only one number in the middle. And to find this number, obviously, is the uh, 12th, because to find the median, I do 11 plus 1 plus 11. You see, I have 1 is in the middle. Or you may divide 23 by 2 and then round up. So the median is the 12th number on the list, is the 12th number. I separated 11 to the left. If, if the middle is the 12th, I have 11 numbers on the left, 11 numbers on the right, and so I need to choose the 12th person on the list. So this is the 12th age, these are ages, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the 12 is the 59. So I write here 59 as the median. So I write 59 as the median. Now let's find now the lower quartile. The lower quartile according to the definition of the lower quarter is the position of the number that lies a quarter of the total data. And now if this formula, if the n is 23, then a quarter of 23 give you a decimal, but you round up, you can round up as is 5.75. So you round up to the sixth number. So the Loy quartile is the sixth number. So let's find what is the sixth number. According to this list, the sixth number is one, two, three, four, five, six, is the 53. So I go and write here 53. And let's find the upper quartile. The upper quartile, according to the definition, is the position of the number that lies three quarters of the total. So all I need to do is to do three quarters times the 23. And so I do three quarters of 23 is the position, remember this is a position of the number on the list that I want to find, not the number, so it is the 17th number, is 17.25, I round down to the 17. To the 17 now, so it's three times. And now let's find the number, this is the 12th. So the lower quartile is, according to the numbers, the list, is the 17th. And the 17th number is 64. So this is 64. And now we completed the table. And this is, in this way we found the median, the lower quartile, the upper quartile of this data. 
Now let's find the interquartile range. In this exercise we have a second bus that have the ages different people in different age groups but here we have the statistics median lower quartile upper quartile on the second coach the median here is 70 the lower quartile is 54 the upper quartile is 73 the least age is 42 and the greatest age is 85 and now Richard says that the people on A pass A are younger than the people on coach B now are the people on coach A younger than the people on coach B? These are the statistics for the coach B. Okay, the table here shows the statistics of coach B. And we need to decide if the people on coach A are younger than the people on coach B. Now, what is the statistics I need to compare now? Of course, I need to compare the median age. Now, the med by comparing the median ages, I can see which bus has the younger people. So the median in bus B is 70 and the median in bus A now the median age for the bus B is 70 and the median age of the bus A is according to the table is 59 and obviously 59 is lower than 70 which means that the people the people in coach A are younger than the people in coach B so in this case we compare the two medians and this is the purpose of statistics by right? comparing data so we conclude here that the people on coach A are younger than the people on coach B because the median age is lower so if you are happy with the lesson, you subscribe and you can see more lessons like this. This is a GCSE level, but I can present different levels, higher levels or lower levels. So you can have an idea of all of the maths. Thank you for watching.